Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to Fast Electronic and Loud. We always bring it to you Fast Electronic and, of course, Loud. Just wanted to do a little quick setup. I've kind of revamped my setup, but more or less, I'm not actually shooting any video with the Canon. This is kind of a dual purpose. I kind of want to do a video test just using the iPhone 5S uh, and see what type of video capture we do get. So I thought it'd be a good idea to kind of take a look at kind of how I've redone my setup here. Uh, I don't know if you've seen my other setup videos. I'll put a link in the description below for them. You can check them out. But kind of here, uh, this is actually my home and my office as well. So kind of when uh, I walk in my door here, kind of walk in, and here is, that's my back door. Walk in, here's my office. Uh, I actually have, I don't know if everyone knows this, actually do have uh, four college degrees. Uh, my last one being a Master of Science uh, in Computer Science from University of Illinois as well as my undergrad was a Bachelor of Science in Computer Science as well. So uh, I've kind of been inspired my whole life to excel in school, graduated with high honors uh, because my grandfather, who recently passed in August, he uh, also graduated from University of Illinois. So that's kind of a, you know my wall, my inspiration. That's what guides me at my work, my business, which you guys know I own my own business. I uh, do a lot of work here with you know social media, video production, IT work, uh, installations, a lot of things. So let's get back into it here. Just a couple little uh, drawers that I use for uh, you know random things I need, little things for my business, office supplies, paper shredder. Uh, you can see I've got a little file there, bulletin board. I got some compressed air on standby. Uh, just a couple of little cloths that I use. Uh, they're no they're nice to have. Keep your uh, devices nice without scratching. I've got. A microfiber, a couple different ones. I've got a softer white one, and then also have this monster one that's for my. I don't know if you've seen that. These are the monster DNA. I've got a video for that. Uh, just a little memory card here, 16 gig, uh, Extreme Pro. I've did a couple videos on these. You guys can check those out. Uh, we got an Apple trackpad. We've got the uh, Apple Magic Mouse, Apple keyboard, wireless. This is the uh, late 2012 MacBook Pro Retina. Uh, this is the uh, 8 gigabyte model of RAM, so I've been happy with that. Just patiently waiting for Mac Pro to come out. You can see I've got that connected to the 27-inch uh, Thunderbolt. Keep a few extra business cards always handy. This is actually pretty cool. I don't know if anyone ever used one of these. This is actually the uh, Thunderbolt to Ethernet adapter. I use that for the MacBook Pro a lot when I want a wired connection, if I'm doing live stream or anything like that. Just an older 2.0 USB hard drive I keep just in case, uh, transfer something for somebody. And then I've got my main working one, this is a USB 3.0 hard drive, a 2 terabyte Western Digital My Passport. I keep an extra lightning cable here. Here's an Apple remote. I don't know if you've seen that, I've got the Blue Yeti. And there is my uh, 2012 Apple Time Capsule 2 terabyte. And I'm actually going to do a separate video about how I have my network set up with that. I actually, with that, I have the network mode set to off, and you can see that I have a few Ethernet cables in. One is connected directly, this one, to my time capsule, or pardon me, my new Airport Extreme. The other two is just one extra connection and one fed directly to the Thunderbolt. So I'm still able, anytime I'm connected directly to this, to do my backups, which generally I'm right here connected to do such. So I don't want the wireless portion of this time capsule in my home. I don't need to extend it, I just use the 802.11 AC from the new Extreme. So, a couple stickers here, Mopar, University of Illinois, I uh, highly recommend this, www.retrofritsource.com, they got great lighting, uh, clothing company NorCal, uh, kicker as always. So kind of coming over here, this is a rental so I can't get under the floor and hide some cables which is kind of a bummer, so that's actually the rear sound stage. Uh, to my surround sound, just a couple of rear and then uh, back speakers there, just leather couch, little chair. On my table here, I've got a few remotes, DirecTV for my receiver, my WD TV Live, my Xbox, my 3D Blu ray. I've got a uh, remote here. This is what for actually turn on my uh, LED lights uh, that I have lit up in my uh, media cabinet underneath here. You can see I just turned them on blue. There's green, there's red, so you guys get the drift. We'll turn those off. A little issue of Rides Magazine, just taking a look at some things. Coming over here, this is kind of where I do a bulk of my gaming. We've got some Polk Towers. There's the uh, 802.11 Airport Extreme. You can see Apple TV, Connect Sensor, Center Channel, 
Xbox 360. That's the uh, slim 250 gig. You can see another tower, Polk Audio. We've got four pair of uh, 3D glasses. It's actually the uh, 60 inch Samsung LED 240 Hz. I've done an unboxing on that. Coming down here, you can see I've got two uh, Monster HDP 1800. These are actually power conditioners. Uh, you guys want to run clean power if you care about your components or anything like that. Got a Yamaha receiver down there below. That's the uh, Yamaha HTR5063. It's uh, 3D and 4K available. Got the DirecTV, and you can see the Samsung 3D Blu ray player. Some 3D glasses there as well, and there's the uh, WD TV Live. You got a little powered subwoofer over here, and just a few of my little collect uh, movies and 3D movies Grand Theft Auto 5, a little poster, Black Ops. Looks like a little the Black Ops Hardened Edition back there. So that's kind of how we've done that. And you're probably wondering, well, where's all the rest of your other Apple stuff? You know, well, we'll I'll show you that. It's kind of my wall. I'm a diehard Cardinal fan. Uh, I think we're about to go to the series again and probably sweep it. And I'm an Illinois fan. Just a little po picture of New York. And believe it or not, that picture of New York has the words New York just typed out. Every single where you look is just the words New York to make that, which is pretty cool. So, just another little poster in New York, just popular streets. Uh, my pride and joy is my son. And I've got uh, just a few photos here. Uh, so cam uh, my camera bag's down here. I've got actually, uh, I don't know if anybody knows this, but I'm a diehard golfer. I've got a really nice set of Callaway Big Bertha's matching irons. So, uh, kind of some uh, golf trophies here. And just kind of heading up the stairs here. I've actually shifted the production of what we do here at Fast Electronic and Loud. Kind of give you a little, this is where I don't know if you've seen other videos on our other channel, Fast Electronic and Loud 2.0. This is kind of where my, uh, game, where my son's gaming setup is located. He has his TV, Xbox 360, Steel Series, Siberia V2, Custom Scuff Optic Controller. Uh, Dell XPS 8500, which I did on my channel. You could look at that. A few posters. Zombie. Call of Duty. Black Ops 2. So, just a little bit there. And we'll come over here. I love putters, by the way. I have quite a few putters, but... <laughs> so, coming back here, you can see I've shifted production into my home. It's actually uh, one of those remote control helicopters. You've seen the unboxing. It's kind of actually my new setup up here. Uh, got some other uh, softbox lights and things like that coming. But what you're looking at up here, just keep a little Samsung HDMI 27 inch screen up here. There's my Apple Mac Mini. Getting ready to do an unboxing on the new Canon uh, 430EX2 speed light. Just got, you know, some uh, pieces up here I was recently working on just a new camera head uh, there's my Canon EOS 60D just a mini tripod I have as well as a, a larger stand here got some umbrellas other studio lights down there and just some other equipment I've been working with like a Diablo Sport Trinity tuner you've seen that on my channel but yeah I've kind of moved uh, this setup up here just to isolate things so now I don't have all that going on downstairs and this is all, I mean, the only thing I do upstairs in here is literally just sleep. So it made sense to take use of the space that we have. So we do some work up here recently. The last uh, three, uh, about three, I would say, about six or seven videos have been done up here. And then just over here to the left, I've got my uh, Samsung 50-inch LED, uh, full 1080p TV. I've got the old Western Digital box there because I no longer use that anymore. But I still have it up here. It can stream movies. I've got my DirecTV. I do have a uh, Airport Express base station up here as well, just in case. Uh, Bluetooth keyboard down there. And I've got a, a Blu-ray player down here. So it's kind of a work in progress. So uh, you guys want to like or hate me for my wiring, that's fine. It doesn't really ba bother me because it's, like I said, work in progress and it's my house, not yours. <laughs> Home office, you know. So over here, I just want to show you kind of like my box collection. It's kind of, you know, this is kind of my, what I collect here, what I have, you know, I'm centered around technology. So I've got a printer over here, a little Epson NX330, sitting on top of a brand new kicker L7, 15-inch uh, square subwoofer is actually a warranty replacement. Keep some printer paper there. 
Got a couple extra surge protectors, nice to have always on deck. Some spare ink. You can see I used to have this, uh, the wireless bridge here. I use that in my son's room. I've got a Black X, uh, just a SATA USB docking station, Oakley cases, um, power center boxes, 3D Blu-ray, WD TV Live, the Connect, which you saw, Monster DNA. This one of my little tripods I use. Here's the stand for my television because I no longer use that. It's wall mounted. This actually came out of my Dodge Challenger SRT8. This is from the factory. It's actually a factory installed kicker uh, subwoofer. It's pretty cool. It's actually from Mopar and Kicker, but it is a uh, factory installed in the SRT8. I've put another system in there, so I don't need that, but I'll still keep it. So pardon me, the allergies are uh, bad right now. We're getting a lot of rain and it's uh, harvest season in central Illinois. So pardon my sniffles, guys. And then just uh, some shoes for, uh, you know, black shoes just for general, like tennis shoes. Just happen to be some athletic low top Jordans. And then this is more for my, you know, walking, running, jogging, just some Air Max, just because they're nice to have when you're running. And then just some other boxes, you know, kicker amp, tuner little TV wall mount, Yeti box, invisible shield, Thunderbolt display, the Canon, the lenses, the memory cards, the remote, the iPad, the remote for the iPad, or pardon me, the remote for the Mac Mini and the Apple TV, iPad power brick box, MacBook Pro power book, or MacBook Pro box, Mac Mini, that's the box for the uh, Samsung LED, the new Airport Extreme, the Airport Express, Apple TV. That's funny. My old box for my iPhone 3GS. Ooh, don't want to knock anything over here. Lightning, the 30 pin adapter. That Thunderbolt to e or Gigabit. Thunderbolt to Gigabit Ethernet adapter. There's the 2012 time capsule. And a great case for your iPod Touch 5th Gens at Survivor, which I. All of this has been on the channel, and you guys can look at that. Uh, in fact, I'll actually probably just make a playlist and put in the description all the stuff that I've seen here done unboxing or we've done review or tutorial, which is pretty much everything you've seen here. We'll put it on there for you. Just make it real easy for you guys. So it's kind of how we've uh, I've redone my setup here over at Fast Electronic. And like I said, it's still a work in progress. So everybody's still going to have, oh my gosh, this and that. Well, that's fine. That's that's This is me. This is how we do it over here. So it may be a little different, you know, but... Heading back downstairs, like I said, makes things a little easier having up and down. I can isolate myself for video or editing in both areas using the Mac Mini, which actually is a uh, late 2012 with the i7. Uh, it's got 16 gig RAM, so it's it's a good machine. It'll edit, it'll render. It doesn't it does the job for what I need. But we're patiently waiting for Mac Pro. So usually, you know, sometimes if I'm here on Sunday, we're watching the game. You know, we'll turn that on. Uh, we have a uh, direct TV, so we uh, subscribe to Sunday Ticket we have for years. So, actually getting ready to check out some uh, college scores right now. It's Saturday. It's uh, rarely the time, the only, about the only chance I get to unwind. So, I'm actually going to go ahead and uh, check out some of the scores. But just want to kind of give you a tour of kind of how, since I've split up the setup, what it's like now. Um, how I do it, you know, from gaming to editing to production to unboxing. I just wanted you guys to be able to see, you know, kind of what I am, what I do, what I'm about, you know, my credentials, you know, my, uh, I've uh, completed with Cisco. I've got extensive training with networking with Avaya. So I've, uh, I've handled and seen quite a bit and just wanted to share that with you guys. So, and then the other thing, and I'm going to do a separate video on that, is that we recently had a uh, ADT pull system where we can actually use our iPhone, iPad. So we'll actually do a couple videos on that just to show you guys, you know, motion sensors and all that kind of stuff. So being this is a home slash home office slash business that I run a separate business other than YouTube, uh, it's very important to keep your stuff protected. So, you know, we've got by everything in place that we need. So... Just wanted to give you guys a little quick tour. It's probably not too quick. Coming in about 14, <coughs> pardon me, 15 minutes. But nonetheless, just wanted to kind of share a bigger setup, you know, just a revamp setup of everything that we have kind of in the way that we have it. So, like I said, it's still a work in progress. Unfortunately, this is a rental for us, so we can't do a lot of penetrations in walls to hide wires or anything like that. 
for some of the ones so but we do our best uh, I and mean, we were shot down when we asked to bring a wire from the tv down to the cabinet so unfortunately we still have a couple hdmis going up there a lot of people are like why do you have all them hdmis you have a receiver that can switch them all very true however because i choose to use a 60 inch tv 240 hertz you guys might be like oh my gosh are you kidding for gaming your impact your input lag is horrible really to be honest with you between all the other it's not too bad most of us use a wireless controller instead of a wired we're already losing out anyway so for that reason the xbox 360 has hdmi out straight to the tv minimizes the best that i can for the choice i have to play on this because Sure, I could get a 1 or 2 millisecond response time on a BenQ monitor, but a BenQ isn't 60 inch, 240 hertz, 3D mount on my wall. I'm not that serious about gaming, so I don't care about, you know, maybe that's why my, I, I can't hit as well in the game, but that doesn't matter to me. You know, I like my setup. You guys may not like it. Leave a comment. Maybe you do. Like this, subscribe, either which way. So, just want to give you a little something. So, like I said, it's fast, electronic, and loud. I always bring it to you fast, electronic. And of course, loud. This was all shot with the iPhone 5S. I'm just going to do a direct upload with this using a uh, YouTube capture app. I'm not even going to edit, not even going to run it through Final Cut, not even going to do a voiceover, not even going to do anything. So this is a combination of iPhone 5S test and review of my new setup, kind of how we broke things down. So thanks for watching. As always, fast, electronic, and loud. Where we do bring it to you fast, electronic, and of course, loud. That's what we do. That's me. Check me out. I actually have business cards, yeah. So, thanks for watching. Please subscribe.